Last year, we had over 300 families come through our facility and we actually gave 120 more dinners out in addition to the people we fed at the outreach. Um, we gave those through the community in Jenkins. It's open to everyone. There is no one that is unwelcome from any part of the state or out of state. They're all welcome. December 7th, the doors open at 10 a.m. Everyone will come in and register. They'll get a little ticket and it'll be color coded. They'll go on over and receive their coats if they want a coat. Uh, we have hygiene products, uh, feminine hygiene. We have household um, toothbrushes, toothpaste for everyone. We have furniture, clothes that are new and used, and we will have Toyland for the first time this year. So the kids will be able to go into Toyland and get what they want, or the parents can go in and get it for them if their children aren't with them. We want to help people who are just having a hard time making Christmas. You know, uh, maybe they work a uh, lower income job or they are grandparents raising children. We want to help those people and kind of fill the gaps to, and that way their kids feel just as much love and, and the joy of the holidays too. Uh, they can contact their the Letcher Resource Center, either one, there's a middle school and elementary school resource director. They can contact them or they can contact me. They can email me through Ignite Ministries at live.com and we'll get into we'll touch base with them and see what we can do and how we can help them. The group we work with out of McDonald, Georgia, they actually bring 100 bicycles in. So we want to help kids in that area, you know, be able to have, we give those children a Christmas. But we also um, want to help make sure that not just the kids, but even food is taken care of. That's why we, it's grown and expanded from bikes to bi uh, bicycles and food and coats and clothing. It's expanded because we want to be able to make sure that they do have a Christmas. Volunteers are welcome. We are in much need of many more volunteers. It takes a lot to make this happen. We will be there on Friday, December the 6th, and you're welcome to come in and help set up. And then we also need hands-on December 7th, and all volunteers are to report in at 8 a.m. December 7th. We do um, a quick little devotional with everyone and make sure that everyone's there, signed in, knows where they're going, knows how to help people, and then we branch out just the love of God being shown so much throughout this entire six years. We've got to see that because people will come in and like as they're getting stuff, they're like so excited and happy that they're, that they're getting this stuff because parents will come in and pick their kids stuff up without their kids because they don't want them to know that's gonna be their Christmas. And to see them get what they need and see people dance out in new shoes and thankful, literally dance out in new shoes or put on a coat and say, I have something warm, I'm not cold. Or to watch the children come up and ask for a, separate, a second helping of something. Man, it's really, really touching.